Basketball in the Big Ten Network is presented by Ram Trucks. If you love hoops, if you love the Big Ten, this is the place to make your V-Day reservations. A Big Ten Hoops doubleheader kicks off with Michigan State and Penn State from the Bryce Jordan Center. State team than a month ago. Michigan State's coming off perhaps their biggest one of the season against Illinois over the past weekend was a huge quad one win for their resume. Went from probably a bubble team to now projected as a nine seed after that victory. But they got to keep the momentum going and a big chance to do it on the road today as Hogard with some bully ball down low couldn't get his first shot to go. And the Spartans will look for opportunities to be able to post Hogard against the smaller guards of Penn State, but they'll try to post Malik Hall as well, number 25 in green. Yeah, they, they talk about wanting those matchups and potential mismatches. Kern, I know you love his game, turns and gets the first bucket of the night. He's so fun. And when they can. 16 points per game in transition. Some of the tops in the nation. And they haven't been turning the ball over this year. They're the best in the Big Ten at not turning it over this year. Paul, oh, speaking of the bully ball, he gets down low and gets Michigan State their first points. He's been so steady over the last 12 games for the Spartans, averaging 14 points a game over that stretch. XC has been really hot over the last four games for Penn State. Quick feed down low, nearly another turnover. Runs right into Hall. Good job from Hall to defend without fouling there. Second effort though of the defensive start. Hall went up strong. Couldn't jam it down. I'm sure if you count that one as another block there. Huh? Four blocks in this game for Penn State. They are dialed in on the defensive end. Spartans forced the turnover. Ogard out and running. Much needed easy bucket in transition. Ponzo Ellis with you here in State College. It's the Nittany Lions off to a 7 4 start. Nearly five minutes in. Couple of substitutions for Michigan State. Holloman in the game, a floater, and he draws a foul. Penn State mentioned well. them at 12 and only defensively for Mike Rhodes, but you also have to learn some challenging concepts, but they seem to have had to have him back in the lineup if you're a Nittany Lion fan. Kanye Clary coming off the bench again today. Zero and white. He's in the game now. Floater from Johnson off the mark. All the rebound. Holloman looking to push up to car. He can explode quickly off that floor. Yeah, you have to get back and get your defense loaded in the painted area. That time, Cohen Carr beat everyone down the floor. X reload. Is it good this time? It is. His last four games or so have been so good. Puts his Nittany Lion team back up three. A drop down low. And a foul. They can get up and down the floor in a hurry as Cooper knocks down. That means at one point you have a blind spot to your player, and that's how. Well, Hobbs had a good start in this game, especially on defense. Couldn't get his hook shot to go there. Here it is again. Score. Cooper down low quickly. Turn into two. Once again, got to get back. Ogar downhill. Strong attack. No tipping off the mark. Who can get it? Pinballs around in the Spartan hands. Fine shooters. Whip it over to Aikens. Catch and shoot three. Three points, Jake Aikens. Down four, but a little out of sorts last couple of possessions. Baldwin. The Spartans currently fifth in the Big Ten. Top four would give you that double bye in the Big Ten tournament. Down low, and there it is. Cooper again. He's big from a six-point edge. Baldwin, number one in white, and Clary, number zero in white, is going to have to get it going on the offensive end. Buff Johnson, they would love for that to go down. Another three for the... And State's hit three triples so far in this opening half. Looking for a fourth. Jameel Brown couldn't get it. What a job from Akins there. Excellent effort, and the other way he turns it into two. For the break, gets it down low to Hall here. They like this matchup. You thought the double was going to come. It did there. So Walker takes a three. Hall a rebound. Didn't really have anyone boxing him out that time. And he got it. Then Boo Booey. He puts up numbers night in and night out. Penn State lost to Northwestern in their last games. They, they know all too well how good Boo Booey is. Malik Hall, how about that? Terrific. Savage about 17 points a game in Big Ten play. And they needed that kind of production from him. 
He's the key. He had a career high 24 points last meeting. Uh, it's going to be a foul from deep range here. I promise. I love the smiles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just to watch him play. His sister, Aaliyah, is a student at Temple. Have your family be able to come out and support. It's a terrific day. Out in the lane to see if they can flatten out that Spartan defense and look for some easy opportunities because they've been tough to come by in the half court. Nice drive. They can do it. There it is, getting downhill. Jones explosion. Well done by Kern Jr. Aikens, his second three. Agricultural studies here at Penn State. And the most popular flavors are vanilla, buttersweet mint, peanut butter squirrel, peachy paternal, which I have. And so I had to turn down my favorite, butter pecan. I love it. And Spartan, my friend. I was getting all over my chart down here, too, but it's worth it. <laughs> this ID has been great with helping us organize it. So thank you all. It's fantastic. A block off the glass there from Cooper. Hollum in the opposite way. Couldn't finish. Follow up jam from Aikens. No. Third chance swirls down as like a Brazil. charm. Isn't it just like Tom is those teams, though? They start to really play well down the stretch, and he's hoping certainly that this will continue. There it Another is. Turnover yep. for Penn State. Aikens on the move. Oh! For the Spartans have their largest lead, riding a 10 0 run on the road. Brown, they need that. Couldn't go. Wahab digging. Got a much needed bucket. Hicks hooks. Couldn't finish. Akins again somehow left open from deep. And he is feasting on open looks from long range. Jaden Akins is. Penn State team has been more resilient in this portion of the season than early on. And there is a primary example of that right there. A oh, much needed three that goes down. Yeah. Jamil Brown shooting 38% from three on the year, but eight of 16 from three over his last three games. They need more of that from him. Aiken, same spot, same result. Jaden Aikens is on towards Jaden Aikens because the shots he's getting right now are wide open, and now he's perfect. Aikens came in today 21 points away from 700 for his career. Oh, how about that? Baldwin calls glass. One back here knowing what you have been saying throughout the broadcast that Michigan State's their bigs are looking to beat you up the floor. Booker, he cashes in. Didn't play. And then run a little horn set here. Whip it down low, back-to-back -back Booker Buckets. I like these two guards on the floor right now for Penn State. Clary, zero. And he's ball with number one. Those guys got to be able to create some offense. Three goes down for Puff Johnson, who again went through. On his right knee there, and he's just trying to play through it. Hogard had a fortuitous hop back into his hands and turned it into two. He is so incredibly strong. At 6'4", 210 pounds, he just took on Leo Boyle and just put him in the rim. That was impressive. Neither team really racked up any fouls in this opening half. Bonus isn't even close to wrap this up in the first 20 minutes. Nice drive there. Off now for Penn State. Baldwin, number one in white, or Clary. Number zero in white. It's got to create offense for themselves or their teammates. They go down, loaded, done. And this is going to stick with Penn State. Still 4.2. See if they can get him open for a look. Guy who can shoot it. Mm -hmm. They go to Dunn. He has to get it off. Came up short. And the Spartans will have a 14 point halftime lead. Off. Can they do that today on a home floor where they're 9 and 3 on the season? A lot of work to do to climb up this hill. Favor Iray beginning at that four spot for them down low. It's been tough going in the paint. It's a really nice job switching there between Sissoko and Hall. Yep. Oh, what a fadeaway though. 
needed that to go. Well, it's interesting with those two guards on the floor to try to see if they can get some quick ones before Michigan State's half court defense can get set. How about that for a quick one and a chance to tack on one more for Ace Baldwin? We talked about Baldwin. Lafonso, I always love your analysis. Can I make an analysis myself? Shoes all the time. And it, we, do you have a shoe fetish? He's like, yeah, I have like a hundred pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Combination of uh, Nikes and Air Jordans. And, and I told him I'm a Jordan 1 guy. Yes, he loved that. Yes, he did. Going to foul down low on Penn State. He is Ace Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed how you can see what he like. Ooh. Against Walker. I thought He's about it. <laughs> Walker so good defensively got out there quickly on him four on the shot clock We'll have to get something off. I don't know how Byrne got that off, but he did He was a great energy. You're right. He was a bright spot in the Northwestern loss at 18 points in that game That energy you talked about he always has a smile on his face Sissoko barreling in if they can get that line of Michigan State 24 of their 45 points came from the front court It's gonna be a run out for Walker, able to finish and get the bucket there just as guys like that to see one go through the net and get hot. The guy who scored in double figures in 35 straight games. Right? Favor Iray. Ten points, Spartan lead. They're coming off their most perhaps important win of the season against Illinois. Aikens came up short, shot clock didn't reset. Didn't matter for all in the Soko. Ira the rebound. And State got lucky there that Spartans didn't turn that into two. Turn from the corner. Yep. Ops on this end. Walker nice late pass. Led to a foul down low. Kern didn't think it was. Coach Rhodes felt he straight up as well. It's actually a good call by the official. I didn't see it real time. Cooper, whose arms are up going up offensively, has a 7 5. And Wisconsin losing four straight. And yeah, they're going to bounce back. Nice. Walker high. Arkin tear drop. It was Kuros Jr. with you. You executed those beautifully, by Thank me. you, my friends. In the corner. This is a three, and it is a very for Cooper. Nearly lost out of bounds on what's been a really clean night again for Michigan State. Oh, what a bucket there. Just when your grad student comes. Baldwin tried to whip it into a thicket of defenders. And does that get called a foul? Rarity to have two fouls in this game, and you know, any extra possession you can get. See the wrap on Way gets his full starting unit back in, with the exception of at the center spot. And now another foul. We were wondering if Penn State could take advantage of that little patch. If you do get fouled, you're able to put points on the board without the clock moving. And I... Baldwin, one of six kids in his family, that's where he got. And filling in in front of that backup five spot for the Beatrice Lily. Oh, yeah. All loves getting right there. Oh. The end of this game, it, it felt like Malik Hall could be a significant problem. Um, in Big Ten play, so he's averaging about 12 points a game, but in Big Ten plays, I've heard a conversation before Michigan State's game against Illinois. And as Walker gets the steal, Hall said, we don't want to be the team that doesn't make the tournament. They got that win. There's another block, but is this a goal ten? It appears to be that way. So two contested look from three. That's kind of what you wanted. But all on the glass again. Michigan State love this matchup. Give him some help. He fades from that same spot, Fonz. And they right now don't have an answer for him. There's a 20-pound weight advantage. Rizzo has won a consistency from number 25 in green. Before that massive win over Illinois for Michigan State's resume. It's expected, but you don't just get to go there. And the guys knew that. Going into Illinois tonight, they've carried that mindset over here in State College. As Kai's bounce pass and it fell by Kern. Got to get your head up the other way. What a block at the opposite end. In Aikens 
Pickens fading and rattles that down. He's got 18 in the game. So every time Penn State's gotten within about 10. Yes. Michigan State's had an answer. Kern out of the timeout. That was big from the corner. Here it is. They're back within that 10 range again. Yeah, you can't leave the weak, you can't leave the strong side corner, and that's what created that open shot for Kern Jr. Walker whips it around. Hall. Oh, gotta love how he can stretch the floor for this Spartan. They were really disappointed with how the Minnesota game ended. They had a, about a nine-point lead, 12 or so minutes to go in that Minnesota game. Didn't wrap up the way they wanted here. You're up by double digits now, but got to close it out defensively because Penn State will conference road wins this year, really. All the same side of the floor. He loves that side of the floor. The bench loves it now. But down 14 here. Less than a month to go in the regular season. You said somebody's too small. Wow, a pirouette in the post, and he ties his career high with 24. Malik Hall is on fire on the road. I am absolutely perplexed why Pitt State's not sending an extra body at Malik Hall. He is punishing them on the offensive end. And at the right time for the Spartans. You know, he's underneath the basket. He's just unflappable. And you got to have. It's going to be a fun finish, and it should be a very hectic Big Ten tournament. <laughs> yeah, it's target center. It's going to be fun. Tough catch and shoot for Hicks. Just ran for 16 points. To begin the game, it was really he was on a tear. Malik Hall with his third career double-double has been doing work today. Going to the lane. How about that? Two defenders there. <laughs> that came with the momentum to get to the rim. He's playing a video game right now today in State College. So I don't know if they expected this. 26 and 10. More like 14 a game, and we've talked about his impact in the big... <laughs> With plenty of time here from Penn State, but they've got to get into the painted area and either get fouled or make a basket or both. Hall is playing some free safety there, swatted the pass out of the air, up to Aikens, easy deuce. That's, that's what happens. You turn it over in a key situation like that, the Spartans are out sprinting a lethal team in transition. Nice dip into the lane there. Usually you like to trap right now and see if you can get a steal but it looks like Penn State is content with just running it out. Hall is going to add on potentially to this already career high. Kern didn't think there should have been a foul. Owen Freeman, Iowa. Bag and plays. I, I foresee him two years. Hall adds on to the career high. Now 29 points tonight. Hicks able to stay hot. He's been a bright spot in this game for Penn State. Penn State will try to bounce back next time out. At Nebraska, as we mentioned, that'll be on Big Ten Network at noon on Saturday. Michigan State, the rivalry game on the horizon against Michigan. X again from long range. Gets it to eight. Clock's running. Got a foul here. They'll opt not to. And the Spartans continue to reemerge and build their NCAA tournament resume. Get Big Ten win number eight. A big road win in a league where it has been so hard to win on the road and win number 16 on the season overall for Tom Izzo and the Spartans. It was a blast. This was a fun one tonight from State College, Penn State.